All right, guys, real quick, I'm going to hop through on how to take your data from activity 1.1.2 and uh, do the mean, median, range, and interquartile range calculations in Google Sheets. So the first thing you're going to do is this is what your data is going to look like once you're finished, but I'm going to go ahead and delete this, and this is what yours should look like when you start. You're going to go ahead and put your data in, and then uh, we're going to have Google Sheets act as a calculator again to do those calculations for you. So mean is the same thing as average, uh, and there'll be some people who are going to get red in the face when they, I say that, but for the sake of this class, we're going to say mean and average are the same thing. We're going to highlight all of our data, and there we go. We just found the average of all of that information. We made Google Sheets be the calculator for us. So mean is average. Median is that middle number. So I'm going to hit equals and then type in median. Parentheses highlight all of my data and hit close parentheses on there. I guess what I didn't say was I hit equals average and then my parentheses of all my data in that first one. All right, how are we gonna do range? Range is gonna be what is our top number minus our bottom number. So what is the range between our lowest and highest values? You can go ahead and calculate min and max and then just tell them to subtract or I'm gonna do it all in one line here. So I'm gonna hit equals and then we're gonna find the max. Parentheses, highlight all of my data, close parentheses, and then I'm gonna hit minus. So now we got the max number minus, and then I'm gonna type in min, parentheses, all of my data again, and there we go. We just found the range, my, my top number minus my bottom number of my data. Interquartile range, or is what is 50% of my data? So if I'm looking at where does my numbers land most likely, how close is that range? So let's look at that. It's gonna be the same thing. We're gonna do, instead of range, uh, max though, we're gonna do quartile like we did uh, yesterday. So quartile, parentheses, all of my data. I'm gonna do that uh, third quartile number. So I'm gonna do quartile three, minus quartile parentheses data comma two or start one and then this needs to be a subtraction not a comma so let's fix that so there we go we found the majority of my data 50 percent of my data falls in the range of 1.05 meters apart um, and so uh, most of my data is going to be there. Alrighty guys, that's gonna be it for this video and I'll catch you in the next one.